Today I'm going to show you how to make a bamboo whistle or a flute or a swanee whistle and what you will need is a piece of bamboo and a little piece of branch or a stick or a piece of dowel and Swiss army knife <laughs> with a knife and a little saw blade or you could have a saw and a, any, any sort of knife that's all you need The first step is to cut a little scarf in your bamboo or, um, and you need to have a length of bamboo with a hole in each end with none of those blocked divisions in the middle so it needs to be all the way through you can see all the way through there and then you cut that little scarf which is done by cutting straight down through the end of your bamboo around about 25 to 30 millimeters in from the end you just cut straight down like that until it cuts through you can see the blade is cut through into the pipe the bamboo and then you need to cut down this way and I find that's easier to use the knife if you have a round file you could just file the inside like that to take the shaggy pieces off the inside This is an example of the bung that goes in the end with the flat surface on the top and notice it comes up to a very sharp edge here and that allows the wind to be bent up at the end so it will be split by the scar to create the vibration. Right, we've got quite a sharp edge here and the flat surface where the air will flow through and then it's bent up slightly at the end and then we just poke it through there to about that position there we go home safe and okay. sound and then if I blow through that I hope that it will make a noise If we could get some hot glue or some glue to glue it in the right position, that would be good. You can get another piece of stick with a little fluffy piece on the end or a leather washer or on the end or something and slide it in and out and that then becomes a swanny whistle. And so as you slide that in it gets higher and higher and higher and you can play tunes like that. Or otherwise you can lay your fingers on here and mark out where it's comfortable and start by drilling a small hole at the end and then test it with it closed and open and see if you can get up to the next note and the bigger the hole the higher the note so you have to just make the hole slightly bigger 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 until it's a whole note higher than when you've got it closed and you keep on doing that all the way up the the flute until you've got your scale if you want a whole octave. That's it. The wind passes through there and on the flat surface and then goes through and is flicked up slightly so then it is being split by the sharp edge of that scarf 
and that's what generates the sound. And I lost it. I'm drilling a hole through here so I can use it like a recorder. The um, where I'll create a the next note up. So I've, it's not a very clean hole done with this type of drill in a pocket knife. But if you had a drill press with a range of drill, drill bits, it would be a lot better. But you can see I've got a hole there. And I'll try to clean out that hole now to make it so it's not so fluffy around the edge. So the idea, the bigger the hole, the higher the note would get. So you just make the hole bigger until it's the next note up. If that was blocked off, you'd get a clean note, but because these ears are escaping down the side, it's sort of a hairy note, not one frequency, it's a number of them. So if there's no ear escaping down there, you can actually play a tune with it, with clean notes. So that's what a swanee whistle does, it has a little plunger in the end. Three notes in it. Inside, there's a big chest with carving on the top of it. That's carved. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Isn't that awesome. amazing? By sliding this up and down, it becomes a swanny whistle. Oh. And, but if it was sealed properly and you're sliding that up and down in yeah. there, you could actually play a tune really? by just moving, moving oh, wow. it. So, what are you blowing? Just up there? Or? In that. In that back there? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, if I had a sanding machine, I'd sand all that up nicely at the bottom and everything. Yeah. Of course, I haven't got the machine, so. Oh. Cool. 